how can you compare the first day in 1996 with today? Uh, first day, we had no idea where we'd be. We didn't know if we'd last for one year. We had a one-year contract. So 23 years later, it's crazy. Um, as far as we know, it's not the first time in Turkey you came. How do you feel about Turkish people and culture? Well, I, I find it fascinating. I, when people ask, where do you like in the world best? I tell them, I like everywhere I go. It's always interesting, but Turkey is one of my favorite places. Thank you. Do you think political situations nowadays may affect USA Turkey trade in the near future? It's tricky. I'm not sure how it will affect it. Um, there's a lot of dynamics going on between Russia and Turkey and the U.S. Yes. So we'll, we'll see. Hard to know. Let's see. Uh, how and why did you decide to invest in Turkey? Uh, well, we had some business here. And then uh, I think the, the project cargo specialists we have have been a great addition. And, and uh, as Bayadir says, we have many Turks not only in Turkey but in the U.S. Yes, as well. Yes. And what's your feelings about Alp Turkey current progress? Uh, I think it's terrific. It's one of the best examples of, of a good company that's grown well and smart and has unlimited potential. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hi, Sundar. Welcome to Turkey again. Thank you. Would you please advise how Alp Logistics Plus is established in India and our strengths in India? Good. We, we started in 2013 uh, in India when uh, Jim, myself and Anand came together and uh, decided to start LP in India because Jim always believed that India is one of the big large global markets and it should be always well covered. So that's how we came in together. It's been six years in our operation and I think just as Bahadir mentioned some time back here uh, in this room, our biggest strength is our team. Our team of people is our, our core of our strength. I think we are, we are surviving and thriving in India because of that. At the past, Logistics Plus Turkey had too many hydraulic power plant projects with LP India. And now LP USA uh, has a huge railway locomotive contract with LP India. Do you think we will keep seeing much more joint products in the future? Absolutely, yes. Uh, I think as a company, when we grow over the six year period, uh, we started off with handling the general cargo first. That was our core bread and butter and we wanted to focus on that market. But as we are growing, probably from the last two years, we have started focusing a little bit on the project cargo. And I see that also a big, large opportunity, especially with our uh, global offices, including Turkey and US and other countries which are doing so well uh, Germany, Belgium, China, they're doing so much of project cargo. It, it, it you know, gets us excited to get into that field of stream of business as well. And I think from this year, we have now kept dedicated people in project cargo business, which we can sell jointly. There are some leads we've exchanged with our cross country offices, including Turkey, US and other places. We're trying to work and try and see how we can develop probably a couple of more years before we reach the level that others are but we certainly are quite confident now to manage and handle that. Thank you. And how do you feel about Turkish people and culture? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would rate them, I think, as very warm. Uh, it's been probably just about a few hours that I've been here. But I, I think a lot of similarity between uh, your culture here and, and our culture yeah. in India. We're also very warm and hospitable people and that's what I've been seeing around since morning that I've been witnessing it and not just with people here but people down the road how they behave and you know when you go as a tourist you try and observe how people are doing and, and whatever little I have read about your culture I think it's a deep historic culture with uh, with great generations of you know Turks have been meant to be very strong people but at the same time very warm people as well that's what I feel about it. I'm yet to explore more in the next uh, three days that I'm here. And I, and I truly believe that I'll probably have a great experience, which unfortunately my wife and my son gets to uh, miss it. But I think it will be a reason for me to come back again to Turkey. So thank you so much for having me here. 
We thank you. Thank you so much. So. Okay. Uh, hi, Harold. Welcome to Turkey again. Uh, would you please yeah. advise how LP project is established in Germany and Belgium and our strengths in Germany and Belgium, please? So, how is the LP project established in Germany and Belgium? So, um, LP project in Germany is established quite new, with the beginning of this year. And um, Belgium was more or less started a long time before we was uh, logistic plus or with, with this entity in Bremen entered into Belgium. And um, so we tried to, to, to uh, build a more or less corporate identity with, with both offices, LP um, Belgium and the, the office we have for Project Cargo in Bremen. And that's why we started Logistic Plus Projects GmbH uh, beginning of this year. And now we have around uh, uh, eight people in, in Belgium running the project business there and about four people now in the Bremen office. But they also get support from the Carl Polsi in GmbH trying to um, yeah, help wherever they can. Very good. Uh, since many years there has been ongoing uh, infrastructure and construction on the German roads and those are affecting the heavy haulage and road permits in especially North Germany. How this affects the project in Germany and will there be any end of it or any ideas when those infrastructure works may finish? Uh, it's a really good question and a really important question <laughs> for Project Cargo because uh, the road and infrastructure in Germany is uh, quite old. Um, there are a lot of bridges that are getting more week and week, so they have been built, in the, a lot of them in the 60s and 70s, and they are not allowed to take very um, heavy transports. And, um, but it took really ages if such, uh, such bridges have to be replaced or even strengthened. So I guess to, to, to get any better road infrastructure, it would take at least 20, 30 years. Uh, but there are a lot of good ideas how you can avoid some things. So one good example is, for example, a lot of the companies are coming back to, to uh, try to transport as much as heavy cargo by rail. Uh, so there are a lot of new rail cars coming into the uh, project market, and it's also quite there are also quite good new solutions as well um, for transporting as much as possible of the cargo on the inland waterways. So yeah, so as as I said, will those uh, works ever be finished? I I think. <laughs> More or less not, because it, uh, yeah, will, for each bridge it will take at least uh, five to ten years when they, they build some, um, yeah, if they make a decision, and after that it will take at least ten to fifteen years after it will will be built or replaced. Okay, um, LP Belgium, Turkey, and Germany is handling two men joint project cargo together. How do you manage it, and how do you distribute the work in the fleet? Um, how we manage it. So it <laughs> always depends from project to project. So it depends, of course, where where the project will will take place. For example, if uh, if it will take place in the the southern part of Europe, mostly uh, LP Turkey is taking over the operations. And if we have some projects around in, in northern Europe, we will try to uh, do our best to help. <laughs> <coughs> Our colleagues from AP Turkey, of course. So, yeah, how do we manage it? It's mostly by doing conversations via email, phone calls, and yeah, trying as best as to, to share the ideas, the um, information we have, and yeah, that's basically it, I would say. Thank you so much. Welcome, Basha. Would you please tell us about the first day you joined up Turkey? How you made that decision? The first day I joined LP Turkey from DSV 
was uh, kind of funny because getting 500, 600 mails every day and the next day you were getting maybe two and one of them was spam mail so therefore it was shocking from uh, such effort from such uh, jobs different things I do into almost nothing in the beginning but it kind of developed itself with our efforts and now we are getting 600 mails a day and Again. The, the second question was can you please compare up Turkey in uh, 2009 with today? In 2009, 2009 the first day, the first year we had, yes, of course, several struggles uh, because the carriers or let's say the clients, at least we aimed, the ones we aimed for, didn't know anything about the company. Mm -hmm. uh, so it took some years for us to get the clients confidence and the carriers as well so comparing these 10 years it's a huge leap uh, with the team we had with the progress uh, in terms of numbers and in terms of the quality of the clients we had in 10 years it's, it's so impressive and it's a really encouraging process to the future and we are now much more confident than we can that we can achieve much and much uh, great uh, business. Logistics Plus is now become one of the most well-known brand in Persian cargo industry. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? Yes, uh, for those years, our uh, one of the biggest aim was to make the company uh, as much project focused company as we can uh, rather than general cargo we try to implement to the market that logistics plus handles mainly project cargoes and um, the project cargoes that the other guys may struggle with therefore uh, i can easily say that we wanted to position the company by doing these kind of crazy uh, cargoes that we recently do as well and try to increase the uh, clients which handle or which produce project cargo thank you thank you Great. welcome Mustafa this is your for almost first year in LP Turkey how do you feel about that this is uh, one and a half year in LP company and uh, I am uh, very happy to be far, part of this family uh, really uh, I, ju I just said uh, already to our colleagues uh, we are happy clients happy it is re it is uh, I am glad to part of this family really. what is the difference of LP Turkey comparing to working with some other freight and project forwarders when I was working another uh, project forwarders, just uh, I understand that uh, there there was a self performance, uh, some of blockage from uh, headquarters. There is a pushing and target rates. Uh, it is just a man. It is just a managed stress. Uh, so uh, it is not possible to do your job perfectly. Just I understand this, and uh, I fired. Then I called to Bahadur uh, because uh, I know him uh, from Siemens projects when I was a site manager. Then uh, I choose the uh, Logistic Plus because there is a teamwork and uh, happy colleagues. How do you see Turkish EPC companies progress in global projects? Uh, so, uh, as globally, some of Turkish com EPC contractors now uh, became a big player of this industry. Uh, in future, uh, I suppose that uh, some of companies will get uh, big projects, maybe first big projects for e from EPC market. Uh, it is a uh, very successful story for us for globally 
as we know now, uh, another EPC contractors, uh, not from Turkey, from Europe, from America, uh, just transferred uh, Turkish engineers to do perfectly this job. So uh, I am hundred sure Turkish EPC contractors will be a uh, big player of this industry. Would you please tell us how <coughs> LP Turkey established? <coughs> oh yeah, <coughs> LP Turkey is established in nineteen uh, two thousand nine two thousand nine, and at that time of the year we have only two three colleagues of mine. And uh, I was working home office actually. I was working with my uh, grandmother. <laughs> um, she was cooking uh, breakfast for me while I was talking with Austin Power friends. It was really so fun times for me. And um, then in 2000, you know, 2009, 2010, our Mersin and Istanbul offices. Then in 2012, we established our uh, Izmir office. And right now we are. Um, working 10 of our colleagues in Turkey, uh, mostly 95% dedicated to project cargo. And uh, it's, it's well established and it becomes a really well-known player in, in, in the market as a project cargo forwarder. Thank you. And what's your role in Logistics Plus? My role in Logistics Plus is complicated actually. Um, I'm the managing director of Logistics Plus in Turkey since uh, 10 years. And three years ago, <coughs> uh, I have an, I, I've been asked for another duty uh, as a global projects director in Houston. And uh, now I'm also a global projects director of the company and trying to manage the global projects of the company in 20 countries. And um, uh, my intention or my, my, my duty is to have uh, more logistics plus offices in, in global project contracts so we are trying to establish a big amount of contracts in in US and in other countries where different logistics plus offices can uh, mutually execute operations and what is LP Turkey's target in Turkey and the region um, actually we have we have two targets in LP Turkey one of the first target is to become a growth brand i believe we already achieved that target uh, i can say easily that uh, we are one of the best project cargo company in turkey maybe the best i don't know i just would like to be uh, humble because uh, uh, in most of the biggest projects we have you can see the signature of logistics plus behind the scenes Sometimes it's direct with the client, sometimes it's through a global uh, agent. But our uh, first target we already achieved, which is uh, making the brand powerful and uh, well-known. The, the other targets are, of course, there's financial targets. But since, since three, four years, um, we are achieving what we are targeting. And um, in the region, of course, LP Turkey is not only... Um, doing projects in turkey our colleagues colleagues are traveling to bahrain to to greece to sweden all over the region in cis in in north europe in eastern europe and in north africa we are traveling and also uh, we are trying to become a good uh, brand in the region too so our target in the region is to have much more offices uh, and in our in our future targets we have uh, we would like to establish uh, offices in North Africa, in, in Iraq, in CIS. We already have offices in those regions, but we would like to have more offices and more people. So as far as we keep signing good global contracts, uh, in the near future, we will see uh, more colleagues around the region and more offices in the region. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.